Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name's Ardil, and today's video is all about the VWT 6.1 that we've got a really special sound system going into. If you are new to our channel and haven't seen these behind the sound series, make sure you check them all out. There's loads of content already on the car, plus much more to come. And also hit that subscribe button because we have a massive competition live on our channel as well. We're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 disc edition, a separate controller with that, as well as an Audison Prima 8.9 amplifier. That's actually the same amplifier that's gonna be featuring in today's video and we'll be talking a lot more about in the tuning video that will come later on. So make sure you've done that because that is live on our channel. Link for that is in the description below. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about soundproofing. We're gonna be talking about products that are going into the car, where they're gonna be placed and why they're also there. So start off with is the door card itself. So this vehicle is a T6.1. It is brand new out the factory. What we're actually doing is soundproofing the vehicle. And that's what we're starting off talking about today. Day. Soundproofing is a skins three mil layer that we use. Why do we use skins? Skins as a brand is absolutely phenomenal. We've tried and tested this against other brands. Any product that we offer on our YouTube channel or you see that we offer at all is tried and tested by ourselves. So we try and test every single product before it gets recommended to you guys. So you know, if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you guys, and that's what gets put into your vehicle. We have a whole host of different options. However, skins, we use a two mil layer like we did on Wilfred Zaha's Aventador, where the doors go up, we're looking at struts, uh, strength and things like that. However, inside a door, like on this D6.1, we're using a three mil layer, a key part of doing any decent sound system. So. Soundproofing, it does a couple of key things. It reduces rattles and resonations that you're getting from a factory door card, but also what it's doing is building a massively better environment for the new sound system to work in, as well as reducing road noise massively as well. So if you own one of these or own any vehicle that is not soundproof, if you knock on your door from this side, you'll hear that it basically is very, very tinny. So this is now nice and solid. The reason is, is because it's all been acoustically soundproof. You've got large panels and large expanses all over the vehicle, even like this door card. You've got all this panel work here, which is just plastic that's not supported, not structured. It's gonna rattle, it's gonna resonate, it's not gonna build a better, best environment for a speaker system to work in. That's why a lot of cars, when they come out of the factory, do sound really, really poor. However, that's all time to change, especially for this owner of this vehicle. He's done exactly the right thing. We're soundproofing the vehicle. We're specking the system really, really nicely. The way we actually spec the system was all during an audio consultation where I sat down with the customer. We went through everything in a load of detail. So soundproofing, we spec the number of sheets that are going in. So we're doing the front doors on this occasion. We've got 25 sheets going across the front doors. So that's back of the door card. We've got a central layer behind here as well as the actual back of the uh, door as well. So they're all covered in key areas. The soundproofing, so it's building a better acoustic environment, which is the main reason why we're talking about it, but it has loads of other properties, but Skins is a phenomenal product. The three mil layer makes any panel really, really solid. They have changed the design on this T6.1 across from like the T5. So it's a bit of a different structure and design in terms of the speaker also the actual design of the way the interior is all put together. So that is all being acoustically soundproofed in there. Now moving actually inside the vehicle. Obviously, let's carry on talking a little bit more about soundproofing because it is a really, really important part. A lot of people look over soundproofing as a part of a system, but it is vital in terms of getting a decent sound in the vehicle. So you see this plate here that sits all the way around. This is like a weather shield, basically. Reason is because on these T6.1s, these are what's called wet doors, if you would. So water basically comes down and drips down through the bottom. What this does is protects all of the electric electronic components like the modules here for your window, plus all the other cables are all mounted on this side of the actual connector, except from the actual terminal on your speaker. So what we're actually do done is run cables through to the back of the speaker. This is using connections grade cabling. So we use uh, this level of cabling for the actual components that are in the door. And then we've got oxygen free cabling, which is looks along the lines of this for the sub because we're sending a lot more power to that. So upgrading cables, depending on spec, but it's all connections grade cabling. In terms of the actual door card itself, so we've again, acoustically soundproof these key areas. However, still retain like parts like this where factory grommets are, 
because that will be something that might need to be accessed later on along the line by a manufacturer. So in keeping with manufacturer design, we've not covered up any holes, bolts, grommets, or anything like that inside the door. We work around that, but still building that better environment for it and also providing a lot more structure to this door as well. The other thing I wanna to touch upon is the actual speaker adapters itself. So these are a 3D printed ring. What we've also done is sealed that by soundproofing behind it. But also, as these are an incredibly wet door behind there, part of the 3D printed ring and design is actually a weather shield that actually protects the speaker from behind as well. It's like a rain shield that as water drops on top of it, it flows around it and continues to flow exactly like it should and not damaging the speaker at all. So it's gonna increase the lifespan of the speaker because we provide a full lifetime warranty on not only components, but also all our labor as well. So everything that we do when we do a system that is completely supplied by us has a full lifetime warranty. So we know that we can back our kit as well as the fact we can back the install as well. So all this stuff behind the scenes, that's why we highlight these videos to you guys because you guys can see exactly what we're doing. So inside here, that is the speaker adapter with the connections grade cabling. Plus obviously on the other side of this, we've got the back of the door card, which you heard me knock on earlier. You can hear that's really nice and solid. That's all been applied with the acoustic three mil skin soundproofing. So that's inside the door. We've still got a little bit more to work on to do that, but we've got to mount the speaker in now. Obviously the speaker ring is built. So what we've got here is the six and a half inch Audison Voce driver. A really, really nice phenomenal bit of kit that's gonna sit into a stock location. So what I've got here is the factory speaker. So if you're wondering about what the differences are between the two, why we're putting these into the system, We've been talking about that in the sound off video, which is already live on our channel. So we'd like, for the link for that is in the description below as well, guys. But make sure you watch that after. So we've got the factory speaker as well as the aftermarket speaker. They're gonna be completely hidden away. These six and a half inch drivers will be completely behind stock location in the 3D printed ring. But in the sound off video, we actually go through the differences between the factory tweeter as well as the factory six and a half inch driver and the factory drivers and compare the lot. And that's a whole part of a new series that we're doing on sound off. So make sure you go check that out. They're becoming really, really popular. So that's that. The tweeter is gonna be sitting into a stock location. That sits actually on the A pillar on these occasion. We can do things like custom A pillars. You can go into stock locations. You can do all sorts of stuff with vehicles. That's why during an audio consultation, we spec everything with our customers. So that's the six and a half inch driver that's sitting there. In terms of the amplification setup, obviously the 8.9 amplifier that's in the vehicle currently, as well as the Forza 1D, are really, really important part of getting the system powered correctly. So we'll be talking a little bit more about that in the tuning video later on, but one thing that I do want to raise is obviously that 8.9 amplifier is part of the actual giveaway competition. So you guys have a chance of winning an 8.9 amplifier as well as a PlayStation 5 completely free of charge by following all the rules on our Instagram page as well as on our YouTube video as live in the description below so make sure you do that because that is an awesome awesome prize ready for you guys so the 8.9 is a prima amplifier so it's class D amplification for the eight channels of amplification plus the one channel but we're only running four speakers so two tweeters and two six and a half inch drivers the way we're running the system is basically the 8.9 is actually running as what's called a bridge four channel amplifier. So we're sending a lot more power to the system, we're running 130 watts per channel, and that's running the, to the tweeters, which are the Audison Voce AV 1.1 tweeters, as well as the Audison Voce six and a half inch drivers that are sitting in the door, completely hidden away. It's a really nice stealth system. So we're running as a four channel amplifier, However, lots more power, but we've also got a processor in here as well. So the processor is part of the eight channels application, nine channels of processing power. The processing power is using bit software. So it's Audison bit software that actually allows us to de-equalize the head unit, correct all the errors that are coming out, putting from the factory discover radio in the vehicle. And then what we're actually doing is correcting all of that, manipulating it, getting the best possible EQ out of that, and then sending that over to the amplification stage. Amplification stage sends that right directly out to the new speakers. Obviously a massive, massive difference. Plus we've got a little controller that's sitting in the top panel so you can adjust sub-level control as well as the fact we're gonna be putting in two EQs on the car. We're gonna have a rhythm one, an acoustic one set up 
all via the BitTune software, which we'll go through in the tuning video. But another really cool thing is obviously we've got that 1D, which is the awesome Forza amplifier. We're providing a load of power down over to the actual sub in the vehicle. But you might be thinking, well, where are we gonna put a sub on this vehicle? So we've got the two amplifiers underneath the passenger seat, but then we've actually got a Prima 10 inch sub in a custom box located directly under the driver's seat. So you've got loads of bass now in the vehicle, but also what you've got is that clarity and mid bass coming from those Alderson Voce set with the new amplification. It sound, will sound absolutely phenomenal. We can't always get that across on video, but if you do wanna hear a system, come by, see us, drop by anytime. We're always open for you guys. Come by, see us and we'll go through everything. You can have a listen to some systems. You can enjoy and appreciate the music and then we'll spec your car. It, audio consultation is completely free of charge. There's no obligation to go ahead, but we'll give you an idea about what's actually possible and go through load more detail on your vehicle. So come by, see us. We're based in Cambridge. All our details are posted below. So thank you very much for watching today's video. You've seen a little bit more about an update on where we're up to, a bit more about the importance of soundproofing like we've done in the door card as well as the speaker configuration that we've got in the front. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We look forward to seeing you soon. Then once again, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that competition is live. We're going to hit to 10K very, very soon. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon.